Ask Reddit by Subobola. What should people avoid while traveling to Europe? Watch out for pickpockets in Western Europe. There is a stigma that Eastern Europe like Romania and Bulgaria is dangerous but pickpocketing happens more in Paris, Amsterdam, Barcelona, etc. Barcelona is the worst place I've been in the world for pickpockets along with Lima, Peru. Nowhere else in Europe comes close. Avoid any restaurant that tries to strong arm you into entering. Come come sit down as they shove a menu in your face, fast talking, usually offering a free drink on tray dessert, basically trying to get you to feel bad about turning them down. Falling in canals and walking on bicycle paths if they come to the Netherlands. What country should I go to if I want to fall into canals? Street scammers in Paris, anywhere really, I just mostly see it in Paris. Rome is pretty rampant with it too. In major cities don't let anyone hand you anything such as flowers or whatever. Once it is in your hands they start asking for money. They even gave a flower to one my kids and then wouldn't take it back. Just set it on the ground and walk away. I actually had the opposite of that in Rome. I was there back when I was 17 with a girl I had a huge crush on. We were chilling at Piazza del Popolo when a roughly 60 year old dude comes up to us with a bunch of roses and gives one to me and says it's for her. I actually went for my wallet and pulled out some money to give him, but he refused to take it. He just kept pushing my hand away, saying no, no, parema, parema, and walked away. One of the nicest experiences I've ever had while traveling. Do not put your back purse backpack on the back of your chair when you sit down to eat, especially outside. Thieves look for this, in groups of 3 or 4. One of them will come from one side of you as a snatcher, and the rest will stand in a group very close to you taking or smoking, etc, pretending that they don't know the snatcher. Then the one guy will snatch your item, and run right through the group, in case someone is quick enough to chase. They will accidentally be in your way. Happened in Rome, but locals recognized it and broke it up. To avoid letting the taxi know you don't know where you are or where you are going, the bad ones will drive you in circles and run the tab up. However, one thing that opened Germany up for me while stationed there was one interaction. I would ask in German Sprech and see English, do you speak English? Followed by mein Deutsch ist schieß. My German is shit. Everyone from women at the bar to elderly people would laugh hysterically and then immediately switch to English in good spirits. They just like to see you try, then they are more than happy to help you out. So my advice would be to learn a quick fire phrase that you can pop off to quickly to avoid the fumbling and starting the interaction on a bad foot. Deleted. If you ever visit England and go to the lovely little town in Shropshire called Ludlow. You should avoid eye contact with Dennis, fucker will talk you to death. Can't be worse than a certain Colmendary. Lol. Petty theft and scams. Don't leave stuff lying in the seat next to you on public transport. Don't leave stuff lying around anywhere. Don't put your stuff next to you on the table if you're sitting outside at a restaurant. Someone can just run up to you from behind, grab the phone wallet and run away. Don't leave stuff in a rental car. Don't even put stuff in the trunk of the rental car after you park it. I've heard that in some touristy places thieves will employ local kids to sit at the parking lots and see who puts their camera, laptop or purse in the trunk of the car before walking away. Restaurants in touristy areas that have signs out front with pictures of the meals and the price featured prominently. If the menu is translated to several languages that aren't spoken in the country then the restaurant is for tourists. Deleted. I don't get why guys don't always put the wallet in front pocket. Safer and more comfortable. Do not, for the love of god, wear stilettos in Germany. You will slip and fall down in front of 100 people including children who will point and laugh at you as you wobble away on the cobblestone with quivering ankles. Somewhere in China, 
That woman I saw in heels on the Great Wall a decade ago is living her best life, planning her first big post cover trip to Germany just to spite you. Don't rent a car if you're going to stay at a major capital, it's not worth it, it's much better to use public transport and get an occasional Uber. At the same time I'd say to not to be afraid to rent a car if the bulk of your trip is in more rural areas. European cities are awesome but there are plenty of amazing experiences to be had in less populated areas that are hard to reach via public transit. Should be obvious, but I'll say it anyway. Don't do the Hitler salute while in Germany. Not even as a joke it's illegal. And, Holocaust denial is illegal in 18 European countries. Fun story. My mother is an English teacher at a Dutch school. Her students went on an extended school trip to Germany and Poland to learn about WWII. At the German border, one of the students thought it'd be hilarious to do a Hitler salute. The whole bus had to turn back. No one was allowed into Germany. Deleted. LOL top of the list. Creepy dudes outside airports trying to split cabs. Unless your dad's Liam Neeson. Or standing there on the sidewalk offering you a ride because a taxi line is too long and telling you to follow them to their car. And I don't have a Liam Neeson. Be respectful to memorial places. Don't come to the idea to make selfies or similar. Inform yourself about the traditions of the country. In some countries, you can openly make small talk with strangers, while in another one, you do have to approach them like a wild animal. I just remember those idiot teenagers who made silly photo session in Auschwitz. I don't know where they were from but see Monday, I can't believe some people can be so stupid. If you are from the US don't sign up for the bullshit $10 per day international service with Verizon or other service providers. Nearly any airport you arrive in will have a place where you can buy an SIM card to put in your phone at fraction of the price. For instance, I once got a SIM card in Seville, Spain for something like 12 euros and it came with a month of service and 9 GB of data. Edit, for using wrong name. Edit 2. Apparently there are eSIM services you can get now that are even easier. I'm not familiar with them but probably worth looking into. When I went to NZ and Australia I got myself Google fee for a month slightly more expensive than airports in this bit that's because I got the expensive tier that guaranteed I won't ever have extra expenses. Cancelled after one month. It works everywhere and it was the only service that told you that and listed well over 100 countries it worked in. Note, you must activate it in the US before you travel abroad. IDK about Canada or Mexico if you can activate it there. Don't think that what goes for one country goes for all. There is all sorts of differences in cultures, laws, etc. Also applies to regions within countries. Don't dismiss an entire country just because of one city or part of one city. Coming over with a bunch of cash, dollar sign, and using an exchange service to buy euros. Just use your debit or credit card, everywhere. If you need some cash, take it out of the ATM. Exchange rates will be much better, no commission. 3% fee from your bank, but that's reasonable. Get a no foreign transaction fees credit card, saves us a bundle even after annual fees. Avoid speaking without exchanging greetings first, in France at least, and not responding in kind when someone greets you. In other words, exchange bonjour before you ask where the toilet is. Avoid letting your kids act like monsters in public, in restaurants, in particular. Avoid rushing through meals, unless your kids are acting like monsters. In Paris, get to lunch, dinner before you're hungry as it can take a while for the food to come. They are also not quick to come with the check. Ask for city water. If someone asks you if you dropped your wallet, don't reach for where you keep it. You're telling them exactly where you keep your valuables best to do a dice rolling hand gesture to wish them good luck and keep walking. 
insinuating that Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland and possibly some parts of Cornwall are in England. Doesn't go down too well. Wow, English people are so touchy, especially Scottish ones. I'd avoid Ukraine at the moment. But when this war has ended, Ukraine is beautiful and very affordable. Avoid assuming Europe is all roughly the same. It's a continent, not a country. You don't go to Japan and expect it to be like Indonesia just because they are both in Asia. In other words, it all depends on which country in Europe you are traveling to. Taking a shit somewhere without buying something. If you do need to shit in a city center, I suggest large hotel lobbies and big department stores. I would recommend avoiding let any tourist group plan your trip. You will only see the most touristy stuff and everything you eat will be insanely expensive. If you research enough you can do well in Europe and eat for much less. Some of them are pretty good, though. You still have to do your research and find those tourist groups. Anyone who hands you a rose. Same for the twats that slip bracelets around wrist, tie the really tight and then try and charge you a fortune for them. I'm looking at you Rome. Scams. There are a lot of them. Beware the person that picks up a gold object, ring etc, and tells you that you dropped it. It is not yours and it is costume, fake. They will then try to get money out of you. There's another one with a guy that will ask for directions or something like that and then give you an article of clothing. The jacket or shirt will be garbage and he'll try to get money out of you. There are lots of other scams too. You start to notice the same scams around Europe. Friendship bracelets, fake petitions, dropped ring, etc. Even outside the Vatican there are tons of guys in vests pretending to be employees to scam tourists out of tickets. Urine at ATMs as they are basically a scam and will charge you up to percent 20 in fees for the money you are withdrawing. Edit, if you want to find the best deal on cash withdrawal at an ATM, look for a local ATM and opt to use your home bank to calculate the exchange rate. If you're American, Get a Charles Schwab checking account 100% free to sign up and use. Amazing customer service. Their debit card refunds all ATM fees, anywhere in the world. I've saved at least $500 in ATM fees over the last few years, I travel a lot. I've had an ATM machine eat my card twice and had it stolen once, every time I had a new debit card within 3 days, even if I was in a small town in Hungary or Indonesia.